Okay, these are the three basic steps we'll need to do to look at the ALU region in our genome. And we're going to start by showing you how to extract DNA from cheek cells. Now, if you were doing this lab at school, you'd follow protocol, which is a specific set of instructions for different lab procedures. Instead, we'll share some short videos and images to help you get a sense of what needs to be done for each step. We begin by taking 10 milliliters of saline, just basically salt water, and swishing it around your mouth for 45 seconds. You gotta get those cheek cells off of your cheeks and into the saline before you spit it back into the cup. Next, attach a tip to your micropipette. Adjust the volume of your micropipette to 1,000 microliters. Then you'll use your micropipette to draw up your resuspended cheek cells in saline and add that volume to your microtube. When you've finished, cap your tube, put your tip in the wastebasket, and you're ready for the next step. In step three, we'll be using a machine called a centrifuge. You can see that it's set at two minutes and will be spinning at over 13,000 revolutions per minute. Or RPM. You set your cheek cells in your microtube on one side and balance it with another microtube on the other side. And you'll start the machine. Inside, those cells are starting to spin at a very high rate. Here's what it sounds like at top speed. Once your centrifuge has stopped spinning, remove the lid and take out your cheek cells. You'll see they're in a pellet at the bottom of the tube now. They're packed in there real tight. What you're going to do next is pour off what's called the supernatant. The supernatant is the liquid that's on top of those cells. We don't need that anymore. That's just saline. We have about 50 microliters left on top of your cheek cells and we're going to rack those cells to mix them up really well in the remaining bit of saline. In step five, we set the volume of our micropipette to 200 microliters. We attach our tip and remove our resuspended cheek cells in what is about 50 microliters of saline. Now you're going to have a little extra air in the end of your tip since your micropipette is set at 200, but that's okay. Now you're going to add that to the tube labeled Kelex. Now we're not going to talk too much about what Kelex is, but I will tell you a little bit about what it does. It's going to help us separate our DNA from proteins and other parts of the cell that we're less interested in for this lab. We are going to add a cap lock to the top of our tube and put it in a heat lock that's set at 99 or 100 degrees Celsius. Now that's boiling. I want you to think about what's going on to that cell membrane at 100 degrees Celsius when it's boiling. It's quite hot. After 10 minutes in the heat block, we're going to rack the contents of our microtube again. Now this will mix it up really well. Then we'll head back to the centrifuge. We're still going to spin it for over 13,000 RPMs, but this time we'll run it for 5 minutes. This bin is really the last step in DNA extraction. Our DNA is now ready to move on to our PCR.